congratulations. You've been thinking of, about becoming an entrepreneur and now you've finally made the move and you've decided that you're going to own your own business. The first thing and the most talked about thing that you need to do, you need to ask is what kind of entity you're going to be. Even what is an entity? What do we call an entity? Why do you need to be an entity? So that's so an entity is uh, a, a, a business structure. That's the best way to describe it in layman's terms. It's a business structure that you have to decide on at the beginning of what you're going to be starting your business as. There are several reasons why you want to choose an entity, but we can go into that in another video. They're, they're the main two entities that's being talked about and the questions I get asked all the time by people is what is an LLC? What is an S Corp? Why should I be an LLC? Why should I be an S Corp? Should I be an LLC or should I be an S Corp? It is a very confusing topic. It's a very confusing question for most young, old, any type of entrepreneur that's out there trying to start their own business. So that is actually the question we're going to, in, in this video today, we're going to answer that question. We're going to try to get the answer to that question to you in layman's terms, not in accounting or CPA terms. So let me try to explain to this um, in this video. So an LLC is an undefined entity. What do I mean by that? It, it's governed by state law. So depending on the state you live in, um, an LLC is these types of things. So for example, we live in Florida. So in Florida, you set up your, you, an LLC can be a single member LLC, which means that if it's a single member LLC, you start off um, with it being, you were the first member, you set it up, and what it is, it's the easiest way to start a business. You just set up your LLC, you have your tax ID number, and now, you know, I recommend starting out with an LLC when you start off a business because you really don't know where your business is going and you don't want to spend too much money setting up an entity when you're not really sure on where you're going income wise or revenue wise and things like that. So it's the simplest form. You definitely need to keep accounting for it. And it's an undefined entity for tax purposes, but by default, it gets filed as a schedule C on your 1040. So there's no separate income tax return for it. It's just a schedule C on your tax return as a business entity. So that's, it's very simple in that way that you're starting off with an LLC. You don't have a separate tax return, but you do need to keep separate books because it's a separate entity. Now let's say that you started your business and you're an LLC and um, you've been working for a year or a year or two, or even the first year. And you notice that your business is starting off great and it is on fire. You're going, you have the potential of making loads of money here and, and you want to be able to understand more and how to, are you, do you still have the right structure? So at the beginning, when you're starting out and you're not really sure where your business is going, it's definitely the right structure. Then once you move on and you feel like, okay, you're, you're, you're becoming bigger and you're, you're, you're starting to hire employees and, and now you're going to have payroll and, and, and you're going to set up, um, your payroll and, and on W2 wages and things like that. Now is this time to start thinking about electing to become an S Corp. Now, with an LLC, an LLC is an undefined entity until you're able to define it. So let's say you're, an, you're now a Schedule C LLC, which is the single member. You would need to make two elections to become an S corporation at that time. So the, the first election would be to be classified as, an, as a corporation, and the second election would be as to, to be um, classified as a small business corporation. Now you become an, a small business corporation. In short, that's an S-Corp. So with an S-Corp now, you are going to be filing your separate tax return. It is going to be filing a Form 1120-S. 
you're probably it's time for you to get with an accountant and making sure that you're doing all the right things in regards to your your S corporation and um and you that you did all the right elections and things like that. So in short, you start off with your LLC, minimal accounting fees, minimal tax preparing fees at that point, and then you move into your S corp which is the next level of your business and and that's where you would start getting making sure that you're you know you you're filing all your right tax filing requirements so in, so that is my recommendations for a small entrepreneur that's starting out you definitely want to start out with an LLC and then you move into an S corp eventually once you you kind of understand that your business is going on to the different level and you de you definitely intend to keep going with it now, if you would like to learn more about different business entities and different business questions or any questions that you might have for me, the Modern Savvy CPA, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and also like, thumbs up if you like this video. And also, please, if you have any questions, you can click on the link below and send me your questions so I could answer it on future videos.